Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about deep set eyes and how we can make the most of the eye shape. It's not the easiest eye shape to work with. A deep set eye consists of a larger orbital bone, deep deep sockets so the eyeball is actually set back further. That creates deep dark shadows in the crease and this protruding bone comes over the eyeball so it's the first thing you see. So using our theory of colour we need to detract from that brow bone by using a deeper shade, highlight and bring forward the socket, the eyelid, and use some of our outer area here to give a bit of interest to the eye. You do not want to be using really heavy brows, you want to keep that light, groomed but light. So today I'm normally heavily into the brunette palette, I love it, but today I've used the blonde, so much much lighter than I normally would, just to fill in the brows but not make a statement. What we need to do is keep the eye area light and bright. I've highlighted the cheekbone and I've used a lighter foundation on my lid just to take away any colour that was there so that the eye shadow is going to show the way I want it to. Now we can use a little bit of shimmer for this type of eye. Um, that helps to make it lighter and brighter and bring that area forward. I'm going to mix a little bit of it up today so hope you can follow me. We're going to start by doing one colour all the way from the bottom of the lid to the top. I'm going to do that in a very nondescript shade using the fluff brush. So a wash of colour from the bottom of the lid all the way up to the top. Now notice that this shade is not the creamy white shade that I normally put up under the brow. We're toning that brow down. So don't make a statement of it. And that is a matte shadow that I've just put on. Taking a shimmery shade in a lighter colour, I'm going to put that over the lid and into the crease, all the way into the crease. I'm just trying to brighten this area up. Still using the fluff brush, but I'm patting it in. Right into that socket, because that's where your deepest, darkest secrets are, down in there. Now take that into the corners, and a little bit under. Oh, I've got to love these crepey eyelids. Oof. Using the fluff brush again, I'm going to take this ready brown, and pop it up above, rolling with the fluff brush in, rolling it into it. I'm going to take it above the socket. So if you can imagine my socket being quite deep, I'm going above it. Don't go in it. Above it. And blending up into the so-called highlighter. This darker shade is sending that brow bone back. Some ladies may have a very deep part of the eye here. Don't go into it. Taking the pencil brush, I'm going to take that tone under my eye. Just a little bit. Just on this outer edge to meet up to that area where we just did, above the brow, blend it. Now it can take this colour and just press it into the lash line there. 
don't be coming up too far. So I'm just working on this outer edge, not going into that socket at all. Fluff brush. Around this corner here. Just play with that. A little bit of fallout. So now I'm going to take a deeper shade. I'm just going to give a little bit of interest and definition around here. Pretty much what I just did. That's sort of fading into it. A little bit under at the edge. If you have a play with this, you'll see how far in. See, my eyes are the wrong shape, so you may be able to go in a little bit further. You may have to stay out a little bit more. Just depends on this distance, how big your actual lid is. If you've got a very small lid, you're going to have to stay right out there. A little bit of blending. Now take your brow brush and... I'm going to use the brown cake eyeliner dry. I'm going to press that in to the lash line. Or better still, we could even add a little drop of water and use a damp brush, not a wet brush as though we're doing a line. Just a damp brush, she says, and makes it all wet. So now that wipe it off a little bit. That's going to press in quite well now. This might be an alternative too for the ladies who can't use a fine line brush to use this brush and do that. Just make it damp and press it in at the lash line. It is much much easier than trying to stroke a fine brush across your lash line if you're not used to it. Don't make this too wet. And just feather it off, don't go right into the middle because that can be your dark area. Lift off and do that tick which you can do with just that like that. Boop. Go under just on the outer edge and soften it with your cotton bud. Don't make it too harsh. So we've got our line going off, Boom, like that. Two coats of mascara and curl the lashes. Now with the deep set eye, you may find that your lashes are actually touching here. So you can pull that away and just stroke like that. You might need to be a bit careful. Don't forget your bottom lashes. Try and play up this outside area. So we'll come back to that in a second. I'll go off and do the other eye and come back with the curled lashes and blah, blah, blah. But what I do want to show you is contouring up the cheek a little bit. Now we talked about that in the contouring and correcting. I'm using the tapered blush brush and I'm going to use an eyeshadow as my contour line. Something like that. I'm just going to blot that in there. Stroke it down, creating that line, blending it, keep it subtle. Blending it down to there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Blend it up and down. So today I thought we would use a new colour. So I'm going to use Sunkissed Apricots today. Very pretty. Now I've got that highlighter up here with the concealer that I used. 
Now I'm going to fill this in with the apricot. So I'm keeping this sort of neutrally you know, browny apricotty look today and I'm going to use the same in a lipstick. A little bit on the cheek. Take it up. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm going to manoeuvre that around with my foundation brush, just get it how I want it. Before I come back with all the eye makeup done, I'm going to show you the lips. I'm gonna do a little bit of fun stuff, playing with two different lipsticks again. Makeup artists are freaking around the world, what I'm about to do, but anyway. Seductive, mmm, beautiful. Stroking it on. I'm going to work that with the lip brush. Smooth out those edges. Going to blot. Powder. Repeat. Now if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm just going to give more dimension to the lip. A little bit more fun. I'm going to take Coral Reef, another beautiful shade, and I'm going to have an ombre effect. Blend it a bit. Put a little bit of gloss over the top. And I put a precious new pink gloss, which just gives this gorgeous glisten. I don't know whether you can see it on the monitor, but it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go and finish the other eye and I'll come back and you can see what we've done with the deep set eye. Okay, so ladies, I've completed the makeup and I think what I would like to do is just add a little bit of colour for a little bit more interest. This is fine, but it's a little bit boring. I'm going to add a little bit of bright purple, I'm wearing purple today, so taking the pencil brush I'm just going to add a little bit to this outer corner, because remember we've got to keep that interest at the outer corner. And just placing that there. Just for a little bit more fun, because I just think it's a bit boring. I'll blend that off in a second. I'm just going to add a little bit underneath as well. Notice the changes. Every time I make changes, see what it does. And you can apply these changes to your own makeup as well. Don't be afraid of colour. Colour's fun. Keep that upward thing happening. Tuck it ever so gently just above your brow bone there. Give it a bit, give it a bit of a blend. And see how that's just brought a little bit more interest to the eye and a little bit more colour and a little bit more zing. So ladies, this is our finished deep set eye look. I hope it's been of some help to you. Just to recap, Keep your brows well groomed. Don't overemphasize with too much color. Just fill in what's necessary. Don't highlight with white or bright or shimmery shades on your brow bone. This is the area we want to minimize. So using a fleshy tone, um, a deeper fawn, something like you saw that I did this sort of apricot, they're not making a big deal of this area under the brow. Keep your crease tone or the mid tone that would normally go in your crease out of your crease above onto that brow bone. That area that's deep 
and socketed needs to remain light and bright at all times. So from lid lashes to the end of that very deep cavernous area, use light, bright, shimmery shades. Just watch your amount of shimmer. It can make your lids look crepey and being those lighter colours, they tend to do that. Um, keep all that definition to this outer edge and above that crease. You can go under, don't go too far in and don't go too deep in shade. If you get, just keep that very, very deep shade right at the end. And try doing what I did. You know, you've got this boring makeup of, you know, all bones or all whatever. Add a little bit of colour. It's always a bit of fun. I think it's just brightened up this makeup immensely just to pop that little bit of purple right at the outer edge. The lips, a bit of fun bit of ombre lips. You can try it with ones you've got at home, take a, you know, two different pinks or whatever, but you've got to blend them together. Add a little bit of shine to the top and it just works. It just has that dimension and a little bit more interest than a flat one colour lipstick. If you watch my Marilyn Munro uh, video, I mentioned there that she didn't wear just one colour lipstick and in, in some instances apparently up to five different colours on her lip to get the dimension in the film. So give that a try. Um, apricots and cream blush, a little bit different for me. Um, just showing you that they're not intimidating colours so if you see them on the website they're, they're easy, they're usable for most people. I hope that's been helpful. And I'd love to catch you again. If you've got any questions, please contact me through my website at www.cougarcosmetics.com.au. Give me your contact details and we can get in contact with each other and have a bit of a chat, do whatever it is you want to do. And I look forward to catching you again soon. Bye now.